this question is from the topic calculus the first part of this question is a differentiation problem and the second part of this question is an integration problem so let's start in the first part of this question we have an equation of the curve given as y is equal to x times sine 4x and we have to find dy over dx which means the differentiation of y with respect to x so let's write dy over dx is equals to d over dx of x times sine 4x here this x and sine 4x are in product form so we are going to use the product rule of the differentiation but what is the product rule of differentiation let me show the product rule of the differentiation in brief let we have two terms as u and v are in product form then if we differentiate them with respect to x we can write d over dx of uv will be equals to u times d over dx of v plus v times d over dx of u so using this product rule we can write in our original solution dy over dx will be equal to x times d over dx of sine 4x plus sine plus sine 4x times d over dx of x so in the next line we can write dy over dx is equals to uh, here uh, the differentiation of sine 4x will be done by the chain rule of differentiation but what is the chain rule of differentiation let's learn it in, in brief as well let's say we have a term where a x plus b whole to the power n if we differentiate this with respect to x that is d over dx of this term will give us n times a x plus b whole to the power n minus 1 followed by the product of d over dx of a x plus b so this is the chain rule that are going to use so let's write uh, x times uh, then using the chain rule of differentiation we can write cos 4x as the differentiation of sin x is 4x followed by the differentiation of 4x but the differentiation of 4 is 4x is 4 so i write 4 then plus uh, sin 4x uh, times the differentiation of x which is 1 so I did not write 1 here because 1 multiplied by anything will remain the same thing so finally dy over dx is 4x times cos 4x plus sin 4x now we have completed the first part of this question which is the differentiation problem now let's move on to the next part of the problem which is an integration problem uh, let me scroll down the page a bit uh, yeah now it's okay in this part the question says hence find the integration of x times cos 4x and we have to find the value where the lower limit is 0 and the upper limit is 1 8th of a pi the word hence in any question tells us to use the answer we got at the previous part of the question and by using that part we have to find the integration of x times cos 4x then after finding the result of the integration we have to find the value of the integration where the lower limit is 0 and the upper limit is pi over 8 that means as one eighth of a pi so let's begin by writing the last line of the first part of this question and last line was for x times cos 4x plus sine 4x is equal to dy over dx now let's subtract sine 4x from the both side and we get in the next line uh, for x times cos 4x is equal to dy over dx minus sine 
4x. Now, if we multiply the entire equation by uh, dx, then in the next line, uh, we can write uh, 4x times cos 4x times dx is equals to dy minus sine uh, 4x dx. Now, let's put the integration sign here and here and here so our let keep the left hand side unchanged so let's write 4 integration sine x times cos 4 x dx is equals to uh, the integration of dy is y so let's write y minus integration of sine is minus cos but here the coefficient of x is 4 so it will be uh, minus cos 4x divided by the coefficient of x which is 4 here plus the constant c now uh, let's uh, substitute the value of y here so for integration x cos 4x dx is equal to the value of y was x sine 4x plus and then one fourth of cos 4 x plus c so in the next line we can write four times integration of x times cos 4 x dx is equal to uh, let uh, take one fourth factor as common so we can write one one over four times 4 x times sine 4 x plus cos 4x bracket closed and plus c okay in the next line if we divide the entire equation by 4 then we get uh, let's write what we get we get integration of x times cos 4x dx is equal to 1 over 16 uh, times bracket open and then 4x plus sine 4x plus cos 4x bracket close and plus c which is our integral constant so finally we have found that the integration of uh, is, uh, x times cos 4x dx is equals to 1 over 16 times 4x sine x plus cos 4x plus c now let's try to find the value of this integration within the given limit from 0 to pi over 8. So let's write the integration sign, then let's write the lower limit 0 and then write the upper limit pi over 8. Uh, and our term is x times cos 4x dx will be equal to 1 over 16 times bracket open then 4x times sine 4x plus cos 4x bracket close let's put the limits here as well okay now we don't need the integral constant here anymore as we are dealing with definite integral now let's substitute the values of x with upper limit and lower limit values so let's write integration 0 and pi over 8 x times cos 4x dx is equals to 1 over 16 uh, times let's open the bracket and open bracket again 4 times uh, pi over 8 using the upper limit first then sine 4 times pi over 8 uh, plus cos 4 times pi over 8 bracket close and then we'll subtract the values with uh, lower limit so uh, 4x sine 4x will be 0 as 0 times anything is 0 plus uh, cos 4 times 0 will be cos 0 so let's write uh, cos 0 bracket close bracket close for 8 divided by 4 is 2 so it and again 8 divided by 4 is 2 uh, sine pi by 2 is 1 and again 4 divided by 2 is 2 cos pi by 2 is 0 and cos 0 is 1 
using all those information in the next line we can write 1 over 16 bracket open pi by 2 pi by 2 uh, minus 1 bracket close so using the calculator uh, let me write this thing 0 and pi over 8 uh, x cos 4x dx and using the calculator I got the value which is 0 0.0356 so let's write 0 0.0356 oh, we could write 7 here okay so uh, okay I've made a mistake here in the last two line I was supposed to give pi over 8 with upper limit so let's let me do the corrections okay and now all the lines are corrected so I put the upper limit as pi over 8 now this question has been done now let's move on to the next question